Hey, it's Mr. Lum again, and we're starting Math 10. And in before we start the actual course of Math 10, we're going to do a little bit of Math 9 review. Okay, so in Math 9, we learned about rational numbers and essentially how to work with fractions. So we're going to do a little bit of review on that kind of stuff uh, before we jump into Math 10. Anyways, uh, so the first thing with fractions or rational numbers is adding rational numbers um, when they're in their fraction forms. So make sure that the denominator is the same when you add or subtract fractions. So here's our little example right here. We have uh, 2 thirds plus 1 fifth or 2 over 3 plus 1 over 5. Now the when you're adding these things we need to make sure the denominator and the denominator means the bottom number So you need to make sure the bottom number is the same. Okay, so right now they're three and five, so they are not the same. So uh, the easiest way to make them the same is to multiply them by each other. So uh, multiply this one by five, and then multiply this one by the five by a three. Okay, now when you're doing fractions, if you multiply the bottom number by a certain number like this, so 5 times 3, you have to do that to the top number as well so that it stays relatively the same number. Well, it, it stays the exact same number. Okay, so I'm going to multiply the bottom one by 5, so it's going to now become 15. The top is also multiplied by 5, so it's 10. Okay, the bottom is multiplied by 3, so 5 times 3 is 15, and the top is multiplied by 3, so 1 times 3 is just 3. Now, uh, these numbers that we just wrote right here look very different from the original, but this is 2 thirds, okay? And 10 over 15 is the same as 2 thirds. So, uh, if you had a test or a quiz and you had got two out of three on that quiz, you would have 66.7%. That would be your grade if you had a quiz and you got two out of three on it. If you got 10 out of 15 on a quiz, you would also have 66.7% on that uh, quiz. Um, so as a fraction, they're the same number. Anyways. Now moving on, we've made the denominators the same. We've made the bottom numbers the same. So now that we've made the bottom numbers the same, we can add the numerator. Now what is the numerator? The numerator is the top number. So we're just gonna add the numerators up. So 10 plus three, that's 13. And the bottom number just remains the same. So our answer is gonna be 13 over 15. Okay, if you would like, if you feel confident, you can try putting the video on pause uh, and do this, but if you still feel a little bit unsure, I am gonna go over all these kinds of things. So the first one, we have two over three plus one over five, so the same question that we had last time. However, it's negative one-fifth, okay? So same thing, I'm gonna take my two over three, I'm gonna multiply by five. So that's gonna be 10 over 15, multiply by three, And that's going to be uh, 3 over 5. Oh, sorry, <laughs> 3 over 15. Now, this is plus a negative 3 over 15. Okay? So we're adding a negative 3 over 15, or you can kind of just thinking it as uh, 10 plus a negative 3, or you can just say 10 minus 3. So this would be 7. Okay, because this could be also written as 10 minus 3, like that. So it would be 7 over 15 would be our answer. Okay, now here's a new, another question right here for the second one. And normally you can, it'll always work if you multiply it by each other. But here I can do a little bit of a shortcut and say and realize that 
Um, maybe I don't need to multiply this one right here. I can just multiply this one by four because the goal of this is to get the denominators the same. So if I multiply this one by four, what I do to the bottom, I must do to the top, then I'll have negative five over eight plus negative, and I'm gonna go seven times four, so that's 28. And I'm gonna go two times four, and that's gonna be eight. So the goal is to make sure that the denominators are the same, okay? So now they're the same. And I didn't have to multiply this first fraction right here, so it saves me a little bit of extra step right here. Now, um, so my answer is going to be, well, it's gonna be over eight, okay? So it's negative five plus negative 28. And if you're a person that has difficulty uh, adding and subtracting uh, negative numbers, I can't just make a very, very quick number line um, and it'll help you so much. So I'm just gonna make a really quick number line and I just always kind of put zero there. And uh, we'll kind of say, you know, there's negative five. Now, so I'm gonna start with the first number that I write down. So I write negative five right there. And then I have to add negative 28, or in other words, I have to go negative 28. And so this would be moving towards the positive direction, and this would be moving towards the negative direction. So this would be like plus five over here. So we start at negative uh, five, because that's what this number starts with. And then now we're going to take away 28 more. So we're going to be going one, two, three, four, all the way kind of there. So it's going to be negative five and then uh, a negative 28 more on top of that. So that's going to make it negative 33. Okay. And so that's gonna be our final answer right there, negative 33 over eight. Now, it is a uh, improper fraction. Um, so you could turn it into a mixed number where you have like a whole number that looks something like that one right there. Or you could just kind of leave it like this if you want. Um, if you wanted to turn it into like a mixed number, you'd have to start taking some eights out of this thing, okay? Um, so, you would kind of go, well, one eight can come out of there, one, two, three, there's gonna be four eights that could come out of there. So since there's four eights that could come out, you'd write four. Now four times eight is 32, and this is 33, so there'd be one left over. Okay, now the whole thing is still negative, it's negative 33 over eight, so we have to make sure that this stays negative. So you could write your answer something like that as well. Okay. Um, here's another one that we have right here. Uh, we have negative one quarter, one over four, plus uh, two and one sixth. Um, and so what we're gonna do is we are going to, uh, there's a few different ways that you can do this, but uh, what I'm gonna do is we will make our denominators uh, the same. So I'm gonna times this one by six, times by six right there, okay? And we can go times by four and times by four right there. Now one thing that you might be noticing is that if I go four times six, okay, that's gonna be 24. We're getting into some like bigger numbers that are kind of like a little bit more difficult. Maybe there's a better way. So instead of timesing it by six, we just want to have a common denominator. So what happens if I times this one by three and then times this one by two? So if I times four times three, that's gonna be 12, okay? and three over 12 like that, okay? And this would be two, and then it'll be two over 12, just like that, okay? Okay, so 
Now, there's a couple different ways to deal with this uh, mixed number uh, that's right there. One way is to make it into an improper fraction. So I can go 2 times the 12 and then plus uh, 2 more right there. So maybe I can do that. So 2 times 12 is 24. And then add 2, 25, 26. Okay, so it could be negative 3 over 12 plus 26 over 12 like that. Okay, now same thing here. I got a negative number right here and I got a positive number right there. I'm going to make my little number line right there. Okay, I'm starting at negative 3. So I'm going to go 1, 2, 3. So that's negative 3. And I'm adding positive 26. So I'm adding 26 more. So it's going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I'm going to be adding 26 more to that. So in other words, since we started negative 3 back right there, it's going to just be 23 and then 12 like right there. Okay, because it's moved into this positive zone right there. So it's going to be 23 over 12. And that's going to be our final answer. Now, we again, we can turn it back into our mixed number. So I can only take, uh, we can't quite take two 12s out of there. We can only take one out of there. So it's going to be one. And so I'm going to minus 12 from uh, this 23 number right there. And that's going to be 11. So it would be 1 and 11 twelfths. Okay. Try putting the video on pause. See if you can do some of these ones right here. And, um, and see how that goes. Um, but, yeah. Anyways. Um, And hopefully you get something like what I get right here. Okay. Same thing for this one right here. Kind of did this one before. Okay, multiplying fractions. Uh, multiplying fractions is way easier, in my opinion, than adding and subtracting fractions. All you have to do is multiply the top numbers and then multiply the bottom numbers. So multiply the numerators, the top numbers. Multiply the bottom numbers. Okay, so you just go 3 times 1 is 3. 8 times 4 is 32. That's it. Okay? If there's a negative, well, just realize that this number right here is positive. This number right here is negative. A positive times a negative, your answer should be negative. Okay? So go 2 times 3, 6. 5 times 4, 20. Positive times a negative is negative. And that's our answer right there. Okay. Now, this number can be reduced. So I'm going to, I can divide a 2 from there. And I can divide a 2 from there. And that would turn it into 3 over 10. But since it's negative, it also stays negative. Okay. Now, same thing for this one. We have a negative times a negative. So we know that our answer is going to be positive. So 4 times 1 is 4. 9 times 5 is 45. Okay? Negative times a negative is a positive, so our answer is positive 4 over 45. Okay. Now, when they're in mixed form, uh, I highly recommend... Uh, putting it into um, improper form. 
um, so an improper fraction. So how to do that, remember we go one times nine is nine plus four, so nine plus four is 13, 13 over nine, and that's gonna be a negative number, okay? And then we go two times five is 10, plus one is 11, 11 over five, and again, negative number. Okay, now uh, 13, so what we're going to do is we're going to go 13 times 11, and for some people that's a little bit hard, um, and I'm going to show you a few little kind of things. You can, you can write it out and kind of like multiply it out, but in my head what I'm doing is I go like, okay, 13 times 11, a little bit hard. I'm going to go 13 times 10, so I'm going to go 13 times 10, and that's 130. Okay, so so that's uh, 10 thirteens that have been added up. Well, I need one more 13 that I need added up. Okay, so that's going to be 143. Okay, so 10, these are, this is 10 thirteens and plus one more makes 11 thirteens. So I add these things up and I'm like 143. So that's kind of how I do some of this math right here. So anyways, uh, 143, negative times a negative is a positive. And then nine times five is 45, okay? Now, um, I can see right here that I should probably put it back into my mixed form. Um, oh, but, and so again, I think I've already covered this. Negative times negative, this is a positive number. So this is our, our final answer in improper form. I'm gonna take some 45s out of there. Um, so I can take out one 45 and 45. And so, uh, and then I can take out another one. So that makes it 90. And then I can take out another one, makes it 135. So I can take out three in total. Three 45s is 135, okay? And so what does that leave behind is five, six, seven, eight, okay? And that's my final answer. Okay, um, last one right here. We're gonna take in mixed form, put it into an improper fraction. Two times two is four plus one is five, okay, still negative. Two times five is 10, 11, 12. Still negative, okay. Multiply the tops, negative and negative is a positive. So five times 12 um, and then two times five. So two times five, nice and easy hopefully, is just 10. Now five times 12, again, same thing I do this, I just go five times 10, so 50, and then five times two is 10, so 50 plus 10 is 60, okay? And it's positive, so 60 over 10, which is also equal to six over one, or we can just say six, like that. Okay.